Hello, welcome to Lesser Hamden. This is SPFL Extra. Coming up on this week's show, we are going to take a look at some of the more interesting sign-ins from Transfer Deadline Day, and as always, we'll take a look at the comments section from last week. So Celtic may have signed Colin Kazim Richards, but we're going to have a quick look at the Patrick Roberts signing. It seems to be a little bit more interesting. Signed on an 18-month loan and comes pretty highly rated from Manchester City. Yeah, I think the big thing about this loan deal is it's 18 months. It's not a short-term loan. He seems to have a lot about him. £12 million Manchester City paid for him. Striker come winger, so I think he'll be a great signing for Celtic. And then we have one of the most spoken about transfers of deadline day as well. It seemed to rumble on for quite a while. Michael Halloran making the move from St Johnston to Rangers. Yeah, now there's talk that um, even though O'Halloran's made a name for himself on the right wing for St Johnston, it seems that uh, Warburton's going to use him as a central player, or at least on the right come central, which is the system he uses. No, O'Halloran may have left. St Johnston, but I seem to remember you saying something a couple of weeks ago on the show related to that. I certainly did. Yeah, I think it's it's well known that Tommy Wright is a big fan of Danny Swanson. Danny Swanson might be a natural replacement there. Yeah, he came in he came in and did so well for them under Tommy Wright last season on loan from Coventry. So yeah. Scored that absolute raker at Celtic Park to win the game as well. It was an absolute beauty, yeah. So I think you know that's a that's a potential rumour that we can we can start right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a very good signing for St Johnston, especially with O'Halloran and Leaving. You know, he, he fills a gap, obviously a considerable gap that's been left there. Tommy Wright knows him, he trusts him, so I think it's a good signing for all parties. Man in the know. And the latest deal to go through on transfer deadline day at 1 minute to midnight, John Souter making the move from Dundee United to Hearts. Yeah, I mean, but he hasn't quite lived up to the potential that he showed when he broke through as a 16-year-old, but I'm pretty confident that Hart seem as a centre-back, and I'm pretty confident that they will uh, develop him into a decent player. Finally, Margaro Gomez has signed for Motherwell on loan for six months, and pretty surprising, he said so himself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, but I think it's a great signing for Motherwell. He's maybe lost his way a little bit at Hearts over the last few months, but he's such a good player, such an experienced player at this level as well. He's just what Motherwell need to show up the centre of midfield. That's it, that's our list, and uh, what's, what's that you're holding there, Robert? That's it's a, a brand new copy of Football Manager 2016. I lost many years of my life to earlier versions of that game. I'll never get them back. Yeah. If you would like to win this copy of Football Manager, all you have to do is tell us your favourite transfer, the most interesting transfer from Transfer Deadline Day, and tell us why. Next week we'll pick the best comment, and you'll win this. Now we're going to go through some of the comments from last week where we asked you to predict the scores for the two Scottish League Cup presented by Utilita semi-finals. <laughs> uh, first of all, I've got It's Swift who said 2-1 to Hibs, which was bang on the money. Bang on. Uh, but he also said 4-0 to Celtic, which is quite far off the money. So Low off. One, one right there. Next up, uh, Scott Flynn. He predicted 2-1 County, which is... Uh, Pretty close, and he's gone on to say he's obviously predicted the winner from the Hibs game as well because he said Hibs are going to beat Ross County in the final. And then we have Ross Lindsay who said Ross County to win 2 1, but only if uh, Boyce and Curran start and Martin Woods starts on the bench. Boyce and Curran didn't start, Martin Woods, man of the match, and also scored a goal. So, uh, yeah, worked out pretty well in the end. But he still came pretty close with the result. He certainly did. And incredibly, we're going to finish on Ethan Hampton, who predicted that Ross County would win 1-0, but that's not the incredible part. He predicted that Celtic would go down to 10 men and that Scott Fox would save a penalty. So well done, Ethan Hampton. Good job. That's it for this week's SPFL Extra. This is a show by the fans for the fans. You can subscribe to us on this channel or you can like us on Facebook. Or you can follow us on Twitter at SPFL. Remember to use the comment section to tell us your favourite signing from Transfer Deadline Day. Tell us why and you could win a copy of Football Manager. That's it. See you next week.